Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we'll learn about the project and the trim tool. Now, when you're creating surfaces, because of how nerve surfaces are constructed, there is a limitation of the shape that you can make. Usually, you can only make a, a four-sided surface. But let's say you want to make something a little bit different, add a little more shape or edges to a, a surface. That's where projecting and trimming comes in. So, for example, let's say I'm gonna create a sphere. I'm just gonna place it in the origin like this. Let's say you want to, you have a sphere, but you wanna make it into a bowl shape. What would you need to do? This is where project and trim comes in. Now, project tool, located under surface edit project right here is yeah, so you mostly used in combination with trimming it's like a guideline but also it can also be used to provide a reference point on a surface so let's say you want to align a curve or surface to the particular surface without having to trim it that's where project comes in so how do you project all you have to do is well uh, right now we have a surface right here so I'll go to the side view like this by pressing F5 and I'm gonna create a curve. I'm gonna say edit point curve. I'm gonna snap it to the grid by pressing Alt, click here and click here. And I'm just gonna slice the whole sphere into half, into a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select project. So I project and it says select surface or projection vector. So right now I'm just gonna select the surface that I want to project to and I'm gonna say press go. And I'm gonna select, it says the prompt line, select projecting curve or projection vector. In this case, we create the curve. So I'm just gonna click, uh, I'm gonna select the curve and I'm gonna say project. After that, I'm gonna, let me just go back to the perspective view. Uh, let me just hide the ISO arm so that you can see better. Okay, so on this sphere, you'll see that you, uh, you'll you see a green line on the surface. This is called a curve on surface or COS. So this, basically you projected this curve onto the sphere. Now when the history is, uh, right now it's green, it appears in green because the history is live. So let's say I move this curve upwards like this, the projection curve, uh, the curve and surface is also going to follow. But let's say I delete this uh, construction history, then it's gonna appear in blue. And now, I'm gonna trim. Now that we have a curve and surface, we can use the curve and surface to trim. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go under surface, uh, under surface edit, I'm gonna select a trim, and I'm gonna click on this surface. So I'm gonna select the surfaces to trim right here. Okay, so once you select it, it's gonna show you a green, uh, uh, a green cross, which means that the curve and surface is actually touching and it has a closed region. So now what I'm gonna do is shift to select to add or remove surfaces or click so, or click or box to, uh, box select to select the trim regions. So basically I'm gonna uh, select an area in which I want to trim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click the bottom half like this and I'm gonna say keep. So right now I was able to keep the bottom half and now we have a bowl shape like this. So let's look at some of the other options. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna untrim it. So on the surface edit, so I'm just gonna untrim it like this. And I'm gonna go back to trim. And you can also use a tr uh, discard. So what I'm gonna do is instead of using keep, I'm gonna select the same region, but instead of uh, I'm gonna use discard instead like this. Now I was able to get rid of the bottom half. I'm just gonna go revert. Okay, so what about divide? So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both regions and I'm gonna say divide. 
So what that does is now you have two separated surfaces. So it is, even though it is uh, from the same structure, the same surfaces, now it is two different objects. So let's pick it by object. You'll see that this bottom half or top half is actually separate from each other. Now, uh, right now, because it has history, it is uh, acting like that. But let me just delete the construction history. I'm just going to move the top half like this, and I'm just going to move the bottom half like this. So right now, they are two separated objects. Now, when you are projecting, the view is a very critical. So let's say right now I projected from the side view when I first projected this curve, but if I were to project from a different view, that's also going to change how the curve and surface is projected. So right now I just projected from a 3D view. So in which case the curve and surface is a little bit different from what I wanted to do. So, uh, so, so the view is very critical. So let's say, actually, let me create a different object. Let me just create a cylinder. I'm just gonna snap it here, move it, red snap it here. So depending on the view, let me just move this up. So let's say you want to create a bowl shape or you just wanna Basically, let's say you want to cut this in half, in which case I can go to the side view or the left view or the uh, the front view is not going to work because right now we have established a curve in a X axis. So even if I want to project this, it's not going to do anything. So I'm going to go to the side view and project like this and I can trim the bottom half like that. Now, but let's say you want to call, let's say you want to split it in half from the top view, then you would have to go to the top view like this. So all you have to do is click project and like this, and you'll be able to separate it. Oh, actually, I should have, I should have also projected onto this one. So I'm going to go back to the top view. I'm going to say project. Okay, I'm going to go select this, select the surface, go to the top view, and I'm going to say project like this, and I'm going to say trim, I'm going to say keep, and with this one, also I'm going to keep, and you are able to split it like this. So as such, uh, the perspective view or the whatever view that you projected from is very critical. Now, project also has options where you can pick the vector so for example let's say you want to not use the right now the default option is view but let's say you want to use a project from the side view but you want to do it from the perspective view now all you have to do is pick the object project and instead of clicking view I'm going to change to Y and I'm going to select the curve and I'm going to say project. And you are able to project from the side view, even though your vision, your remodeling window is in a perspective mode. So these are some of the variations that you can use with the vector options. All right. And that concludes this lesson and thank you for watching.